There it is, Jason. $64,000. Boy, you're doing just terrific here. You've got all your lifelines ready. You're four questions away from $1 million. What would you and uh, Carrie do with the million? Or, or any sum of money this large? Uh, we talked about it. We, uh, Being a graduate student and a, a teacher, we have kind of skimped around the holidays and birthdays. A lot of our friends would like to pay them back with some really nice gifts. Um, take a trip maybe this summer, possibly Italy. My brother's been there. He raves about it. Um, a couple of things. Kids are in our future. It's going to make things a lot easier. Well, that's some great. great space. Well, here you are, $125,000. We're going for right now, four away from a million. Let's play. <laughs> here it is, Jason. The $125,000. What does the letter J stand for in longtime FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover's name? Joseph, Jeremiah, Jackson, John. I have no clue, um, but I think I have the right person to call to find out. Um, I'd like to go ahead and call my friend Jim Fletcher. What does he do? He's an, also a teacher. He was actually a teacher of mine in high school, and oh. we maintained a friendship. You're to call your old teacher. Yeah, he, he goes by Fletch. There you go. We'll get Fletch on the line. AT&T will help us and see what he has to say. Hello, Fletch. Yes? Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin here, calling from New York. Regis, how are you? Good, how you doing? Just fine. I'm here with an old student of yours, Jason. I remember him quite well. Yes, and he remembers you, too, especially at a time like this. He's going for $125,000 right now. Okay. And he's relying on his old teacher to come up with the answer. Hello? <laughs> I hope his old teacher can do it. Oh, I'm sure he can. All right, so Fletch, uh, in a moment, he's going to read the question, the four answers. One of them's the right answer. Jason, it's all yours, 30 seconds right now. Fletch, what does the letter J stand for in longtime FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover's name? A. Joseph, B. Jeremiah, C. Jackson, or D. John? Uh, D. J., I really don't know. Palmer, any guess? Um, Seven no. Seconds. Okay, Joseph. no problem. Sorry, my brother. Sorry, right, have a good spring break. Shame. All of our lives, you've heard J. Edgar Hooper, and nobody ever, well, you know, not many of us really know. And he teaches history and government. Right. Had to get him for that. Um, well, let's go ahead and uh, ask the audience what they think. Want to ask the audience? All right, audience, Jason needs your help on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Please vote now. Well, 52% say John, although it's pretty well spread out. Wow. Um, you know, um, these things happen quite frequently. You're, you're cruising right along, and then suddenly you run into that one question, and you takes two or three lifelines sure. to stay in the game. You've got one lifeline left. You can narrow it down and see if uh, John is still in there. That might help you out. You know, I've done about as well as I expected to do here today, and I, I'm afraid to risk that kind of money. It's a lot of money for a teacher like me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Well, now, wait a minute, Jason. You're not going to leave a lifeline on the table, are you? Well, sure. Take the 50-50 and see there what happens. There you go. Now you're talking. Not? Computer, take away two of the wrong answers for Jason, and let's see what you leave us, okay? That's what I'm most afraid of. Um, now, the audience had 52% for John, and I didn't see the percentage on Joseph, but I think it was around... About 19. 19. It's your decision, Joseph. One of my best friend's name is Joe. You'd lose 32,000 in here if you miss. 50-50 chance at this point. Most people would be really shocked to hear me say this, but I'm going to go for, for D, John. You're going to go for what? For D, John. I feel responsible now that I kind of taught you when to take the... Well, you know, you were right. I, I kind of assumed it would be, but thinking now, how many chances do you get to do something like this? I'll take... Uh, don't feel responsible. Just don't worry about it. I'll, <laughs> I'll take T. John. I know what I'm doing here. Final answer? Final answer. Got it for $125,000!
I was really worried if you got a drug, you'd ask me to kick in the dickens. <laughs> okay, Jason, we might as well take a look at the next one. Three right. away from a million. Might as well. $250,000. You're not going to be here again soon, maybe, you know. Okay. Let's look at it for $250,000. Which of the following is not one of South Africa's three national capitals? Johannesburg. Pretoria. Blumfontein. Cape Town. Not one of the three national capitals. lose 93,000 here, you go up to a quarter million if you win. You know, I was just checking maps the other day, and I noticed that it had three capitals. I know that C is one relatively sure that C is one. I'm relatively sure that D is one. So now we're down to that whole 50-50 thing. Again. You know, I, I think Johannesburg is a big city, but I don't think it's the capital. I'll say A. You're gonna go for it again. Yeah, work the first time, press my luck. I think it's Johannesburg, not the capital. Right. Yeah, Johannesburg. Making me very nervous. Yes, you're not the only one. You want to make it your final answer? Yes, final answer. Just want a quarter million dollars. When we come back, we'll look at the five hundred thousand dollar question. So we're back now with uh, Jason Dickinson. Boy, a lot of tension in this studio right now. He's won $250,000. We're going to look at the $500,000 question right now. Your, your students at the Stanford Middle School must be going nuts. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They go nuts on a normal day. Yeah, so. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's uh, quite nervous back there as well. We're all pulling for you, Jason. Here it comes now. He's two away from a million. No lifelines left. Here it is for $500,000. Let's play. Which of the following TV series did not feature Janet Jackson as a cast member? Fame, Good Times, Give Me a Break, Different Strokes. I know she was on Good Times. I used to watch that show a lot. Um, but the other three, you know, I did watch Different Strokes quite a bit, but I, I, I can't say that she was or wasn't a cast member. The other two, I didn't watch so much at all. Um, I've had a pretty good day. <laughs> yes, you have. I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, nobody blames you. You would lose 218000 if you made a guess here and got no. it wrong. Going to take a walk? I'm a walk. All right. Thanks. Final decision? Final answer. The correct answer was give me a break. Here you go, Jason. $250,000. Yeah, there it is. Well, Jason is our 16th $250,000 winner. 
And we just got to wait and see now over the next five episodes if that's going to be enough to qualify for our champion.